We're all ready to go. There she goes. This is gonna be awesome. Bit of a rough landing there. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to the channel. My name is Ben Eckerd Lee and I absolutely love fishing. I hope that you're having a great day and that this video makes your day even better. If you've been here before, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. I'm having a pretty awesome day, not only because I get to make this video for you and go bass fishing, but I'm gonna be doing some summer dock skipping, one of my favorite ways to hook a fish on a lake I've always wanted to go to but have never been able to go to, and that's Whitewater Lake in southern Wisconsin. It's pretty close to my home, but I've just never made time to go out there, and I'm really excited because today I get to do just that. We've got some sun, it's pretty calm out there, so I think it's gonna be a pretty good day to skip some docks, and this lake is known to have good docks. It is a pretty good weed lake too but a lot of the weed lines have more pike than they do bass so to find bass you have to escape the species competition from pike and actually move shallow and that's just what I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be skipping docks with uh, jigs, chatter baits. I've actually got some wacky rig soft stick baits of um, a few different brands. I'm going to be testing Berkeley Powerbait Maxent versus a competition brand as part of an experiment for a future video so keep your eyes open for a future Maxent versus competition brand soft plastic video. But yeah you can't catch fish if your line's not wet so let's get out there and hopefully tangle some big dock bass on Whitewater Lake. Let's do it. So as we pull up on this stretch of docks, you might be wondering what I'm thinking about, what's crossing the line as we pull up here. And I ask that, I got excited, but I'm trying to figure out what docks are going to produce best. And I see one of them is kind of old and dilapidated, it's made of wood, and so that's always better. Not all docks are created equal. I, I think about the section because it's close to like, pretty deep water, like in the mid 30 and deep the structure, and it's in like 9 feet itself, which is pretty deep. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I had a fish. Oh my gosh. Oh man, it was a bass. I see it. I see it. I don't know if it felt full of but I skipped up on the edge. Bang! It banged against that. What in the world? Oh my god. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but I skipped under under around a dock and my wacky wig just went against the dock and I thought for sure. Back Quick cheapskate trick. If you want to rig a Nico rig worm but you don't have any nail weights, if you have any old Ned rig heads, like these little mushroom heads, this is a Berkeley half head, you can cut off the hook and eye once that hook's all dull. And then you can wiggle it in to that worm and there you have an Nico rig. There we go. That right there is our first whitewater lake largemouth bass. Let's get a measurement on this old geezer. Homemade bump board. Here's the wind. That fish is all of 14 inches. Baba, thanks for letting me catch you. Ooh. So what am I thinking about now that I just caught that fish? Well, first of all, it came on an accident. So now two have come on an accident. Second of all, this dock is actually shallower than the other dock, which is like, that goes against everything I think. I think that the docks with that were in deeper water would be more productive, but no. This dock is in five feet of water, so a lot shallower. Um, I think it's really interesting, and that, that fish was pretty lightly colored, so it's obviously showing that the water's fairly cloudy. I love catching those bass. I also love ice too. All right, let's get another one. There you go. Finally, finally. Oh yeah. 
Right in the roof of its mouth is some lampreys or something. Alright, get them off. Alright. Back to the water you go, but. Little one, but hey, it was a fish. Well, we didn't have the best day ever. It was just kind of tough. There weren't a ton of fish around docks. But I definitely want to come back because I think the lake has a lot of potential. I saw a lot of forage fish out there, a little bluegill, and that makes me think it's going to be a really productive spot, especially for bigger bass. Uh, we hooked pike, we hooked three fish in total, so it, that wasn't the most productive day I've ever had. But the testing went well. Um, Max outfished other plastics three to one. Um, it could just be a fluke, so we'll keep testing. Keep your eyes open for that review video. And yeah. You know, it happens to all of us, we're about being honest on this channel, and so I'm going to show the days I don't do too well either, but thanks for watching, and next time you have the chance, you can't catch fish on your couch, so go out and get them.